Hey now, Mike Shaman here. I just got done building an awesome landing page with the Divi theme. Take a look at it right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this landing page. So go ahead and, and check out the rest of the video. And if you wanna get this landing page for free, I'm doing an email series in DiviPlanet.com. I'm gonna include it in one of those emails. So go ahead and check that out. Watch a video for the rest of the tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Hey now, Mike Shaman here. I just got a homepage going. I got a blank template because I'm not using the menu. Like I so said, this isn't a complete website. This is just more of a one page deal. So I got that going and I'm just going to go to view page right now. Enable visual builder. It should already be just built from scratch, but I'm going to go to a row and we're just going to start with some text. We're going to do a big homepage right here. And just. Uh, we're just gonna do some text and we're just gonna choose our font. There's, this is gonna have an email opt-in and it's gonna be kind of a businessy type of look. So we got our text there and we're actually gonna go to two rows. All right, I'm gonna increase the size of this section. So I'm just gonna go to section settings and let's just do some sizing here. So I'm going to do this side as well. Just making the max width bigger here. All right, let's see. Let's do 85 for right now. Let's put a little email opt-in over here. Okay. And I'm just going to go delete this title. And delete that. And I'm just going to go to uh, content and uh, fields. Uh, no last name there, just the first name. And for the email account, you can select yours. I use Get Response. There's a link below if you need to find out what that is. But it's an email marketing service. And I use it with my autoresponders. So it sends out on my uh, emails when somebody signs up. Redirect to a custom URL. Let's we'll put this uh, in. This is the where you want to send them to. Let's we'll put that there for right now. Let's go to background. And we're not going to use a background color, but we have to go to here to um, design and fields. And then we just want to go to border. So we go to one. Okay, and then we have to go to button. And we're going to use a custom style. It's going to be, we'll do, um, the text color is going to be white. The color of the background will be blue. All right. And then for the button font, we use the open sans. And the button's going to say, for now. And actually, you know, I think I want this to be on this side. We'll do it like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some blurbs over here. Okay. And this is just going to be uh, a check mark. Let's get to the check mark. Where is the check mark? No image, use icon. There's the check mark. Actually, they have one with a box. I think that looks better. Shouldn't they have all the check marks right by each other? Like, here's a list of check marks. Where are the check marks? Anyway, oh, right there, right underneath it. All right, design. I was over here like, because how people with the, the check mark there and it turns out to be uh, right there. Let's do a, uh, let's do a black check mark there. And then we'll increase the size of the icon. 36. 
and that text. If you just hit that paintbrush right there, I'll take you right to it. This text right here. And we're just going to do that. Do what we want. Alright. And now we're going to do a title. So we're just going to do another text. Settings and then design text open sans ultra bold will do and then let's see what 42 looks like there we go make it black and center it all right and then I'm just going to duplicate these oh way too much space underneath there trash that one design and spacing It's not a lot there, so now I'm just going to go back to the settings and design and spacing. So maybe these guys want you to come get their book. I'm just going to duplicate that. Actually, got to duplicate this. Let's go to regular. Okay, we'll put a little space on top. All right, now let's fix this right here. But actually, let's save. Save early, save often. All right, and then let's do, um, if you go here and Go to the column. Let's go background white. Okay, and then the border. Actually, you know what I should do first is actually I should color the back around of this because you guys can see this better if you do this. Okay, and well, I should make this a little bit darker. That's good. Okay. So now we can go here and go to the second column and go to settings and background. Change that to white design border we're gonna do three pixels actually it's gonna make it a little bit thicker yeah. let's make it make it three okay and some black let's make it red okay solid put a little shadow on it Right, and then we're going to do spacing and the padding. Let's do 32. 32. All right. And let's go to. Maybe. Yeah, this looks good. Back to column. Sizing. And just gutter with right there looks good all right duplicate this one on here shorten this up just a little bit and then we'll center this. And then get that space. Let's go here and I just want to make that button just a little bit bigger. Just 
So that way, just zero out the padding. Yep, that's on the button. That's good, and then let's change the font size. Alright, and then we're just going to go over here and change this to white. Could change that to the light if you wanted. Um, I like changing it within the color right there. Okay. One, two, three, four. Just copy that. Settings, design, text. We'll do black text. Or no, no, white text. White text. <laughs> okay. And there's that section, I think. Actually, I could just put my logo right here instead of that uh, image. That might be... Uh... Let's say I have a, uh, let's just do another section, another row. We'll do, um, we'll do three. Okay. And what we're going to do is just going to do an image. Okay. I'm going to just, just duplicate this text. Now what we're going to do is the same thing we did before, but uh, we're sizing. Okay. So we got that, we got a short little description here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go to design and border. And then I'm just gonna make it that. And so I'm gonna put a little, little border on it there. Make whatever color you want to make. So I'm just gonna pick this color. All right. So maybe there's a little blurb there about them and then maybe let's just do this one again, duplicate this one. Maybe he has a name. Oh, we're gonna have to change that space in there. Uh, okay. Text, the color's gonna be this blue. All right, and what I want to do here is just go to settings, design, text, and I'm going to change this line height here. Go to 1.3. Okay. Actually, there's a lot of space beneath that, so we're just going to do the spacing again. Sixteen. 
All right, now let's just see how this folds down. And the reason you want to see how this folds down is because we're getting ready to do um, uh, I'm getting ready to duplicate it so you can see how all this folds down. This will render out whenever it's here on a tablet, not in the visual builder there. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do now is go to uh, sizing. And the width on the tablet. Okay, now the phone. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just, uh, you can just duplicate everything right here. Alright, so we got it back. Now let's duplicate these. Alright, and then you you know you can just switch this picture out very easily. All right, now save. Okay, so now we got that section done. All right, let's go to the next. Just do another row. And I'll come back and adjust the spacing on that probably. And I'm just gonna do a two column row. Um, let me see, let me just get some text now. Maybe this is like the about us section. Um, again as the title and so use a separator I think no what is it called divider divider show divider yes all right design line make it actually make it that blue color Okay, solid sizing, 50%. Oh no, no, divider weight, divider weight, sorry. One pixel, yeah, and three, two. Two pixels, 50%. All right, and then I want it centered. All right, there you go. Now this spacing is uh, kind of far off, so I'm just gonna design and spacing. Um, zero out. Okay. And on the top and bottom, I'm just going to do eight pixels on each side. All right. And now on this side, I'm actually going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to do this with the section settings. Copy section styles. And paste. All right, and then this one right here, I'm just going to go the row sizing. Okay, and then on this row. Okay. All right, so we got our image there. 
Let's do this to check it out, see what it looks like there. Nothing. Okay, so now we know where their image is right there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna see uh, maybe add a button to this one. I wanna make sure we get the full length of the um, Full length of the section because I'm going to make these equal equal height sections here. So now I'm just going to style this button up. And what I'll do is just a custom style. And actually, see like that. Let me get the, the style from this button right here. Copy button styles. Paste button styles, and alignment, and space in the margin. We're going to do 32. Okay. And this room to do more spacing as well. Okay. So now. This color and this is just a representation because I want to make sure that I get the whole screen covered with this um, with what I'm going to be doing here. So let's do design and sizing 100%. Background. See, that's for the row. Let's do this is uh, we'll do. So you can do this for the row or you can do it for the section. You go for the section. Background color is going to be white. Okay. All right, and then design and sizing. Equalize column heights, yes. Okay. All right, so we got that there. And now I'm going to do it over here. Go back to settings in here. Design and spacing. And then 64 on each side. I just want to do a little more action on this. So. <clears throat> there we go with that. Okay, now I'm just gonna go here to section settings, spacing, zero out, zero out. Now there's still a little line there. That's from the rows, it looks like. So I'm just gonna go design, spacing, zero and zero. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now is save. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put, say this is like your business page, we're gonna put a little testimonial text in here. So I'm gonna do the same thing, go to row, regular. Okay. Text. And actually I'm just going to use this text, I think, right here. And then we'll just go here to settings. Okay. And white. And italics. And then I'm just going to add a quote to the. Okay. 
don't know, you know so I mean, like a, or you know that could be like your motto or whatever, whatever it could be. Um, zero out all the spacing on here. to duplicate this row here okay and I'm going to do this put this over here okay and I'm gonna go back up here and go to the settings and go to column one copy item styles put it right here back paste item styles okay and then right here oops oh i didn't know that had a white border on it but it does but that's not a big deal um and then right here i'm gonna go back Settings, let's go to the second one. Copy item styles, check. Go back here, settings. Paste item styles, check. And then I'm going to do the background and trash it. Right there. Okay, and then this could be whatever. All right, there's a picture there. Okay, and then I'll just duplicate this one again. Throw it down there. All right. And that's a cool little section right there. All right, let's save it. And again, you can use this for just like any short little website here. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna copy this section. I'm going to, um, to duplicate it. Bring this down. Okay, and I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to use a dark logo. So what we'll do is just move this over here. That, delete that. I'm gonna replace this with a dark one. What I'm gonna do is, um, Delete this stuff. And then go to one row. And now I lost the styling of that because that was on that row style. So I'm just gonna go control Z, settings, copy item styles, check. And now let's go back to that row go back and go paste go check now in this you want to go settings design and sizing Sure what was going on there with that spacing or if it was just something how it wasn't um, uh, 
rendering out there. It probably was something I missed, something easy I missed. But um, anyways, I'll just do this real fast. Copy module styles. Yeah, see so something with the style there. So I'll just do the button style and then I'll form it there. Sometimes just easier to um, to do those types of things because I, I like I said I don't really I'm trying to think about now and I don't really know um, what the issue was what the style is that I changed but as to why it's acting like that so I'll just do this and it'll be pretty easy here all right. A single name field, that's what it was. Okay. Oh, yeah, we said all that stuff on the top. Yeah. Okay. Just see this centering alignment. Okay. I'm just gonna go back here and go design and layout, and I'm gonna go to body on bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the spacing. And zero out everything. Okay. Actually, on the top, I'm going to put 16 pixels. All right, and then I'm just going to go here to settings and go design and sizing. And the gutter doesn't really matter on this single one, but. Say we kind of need a section right before this like a white section so let's see if we can just do like um uh, let me see i would duplicate this row actually that's what i would do duplicate this row <laughs> i'm gonna have to go back and change all the sizings of these uh things too because we haven't checked on mobile yet but what i would do is this i would just do this and I would make this about maybe your services or something else you have to offer. Okay, box shows that. You know what? I'll put a, a different border on that. Five pixels looks fine. All right. Duplicate and duplicate. Can you erase this? Then you can add you can just add a button there too if you want to do that. And I'm just gonna go to um, 
this, we'll go to this and go duplicate. Actually, you know what I want to put in this row. I want to just uh, do this. Alrighty, got that right there. I'm going to now just duplicate this. Oh, no, 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 the text. Nope. You want the line. Get that line. And then you want to change the color to white. And then maybe, you know what, I should add a line. Just add a line to everything. If you want to add a line to everything, you can. See, it's one of the things that are so great about Divi is that you can do so much with it. And we will add a line to here. So there's that right there. All right, so that looks like a pretty cool page. I'm pretty satisfied with it. Now we're just gonna test it on tablet and on phone. You can see how it looks. You know, not too bad. These uh, need to be, uh, those images will need to be fixed. But, and that will need to be fixed right now on design. Sizing on tablet. Let's go to 85, looks good. 86. Okay, phone. Probably say 90. Okay. Design spacing. And the text, I'm going to change the button text on the phone. We're going to do 18. That looks fine. So same thing here. I like 95 on the top one. Now let's do 90. There. All right, so the last thing we gotta do is just get these images fixed on the phone. All right, design, sizing, 500. I'm going to add a module, so I'm going to divider. And I'm just going to go to paste module styles.
right. So now there we go. Okay, on the tablet. And then on the phone. Actually, right here, I'm just gonna go to the button again. And the font size for the phone. Do 18. Okay. Alrighty. So, this is the layout. This is just a quick, simple layout. Just a little business layout, nothing much to it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and getting to learn Divi and um, actually I'm gonna make this this layout available um, so just go ahead and go to DiviPlanet.com take this layout um, you will have to enter the email series and it'll be an email probably four or five down the line but you will be able to get the layout so um, thanks for watching guys and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video hey guys I just want to say thanks for watching the video check out DiviPlanet.com for the layout and uh, check out the next video in the series all right how we going